Hey there, Bike Blogger here. Now we're going to install the crank on this bicycle. This is the uh, right side cr of the crank. This is the spider. This is with the chain ring. This goes on the drive side, the side with the chain. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grease this uh, thread hole here. For, uh, but actually, we're actually going to clean it out here real quick. So just get the old grease out like, like so. There's almost no grease in there. Imagine that. So we're going to squeeze and put some grease in here. Like that, make it nice and greased up there, just so we can get it off in the future. Uh, you know, some people may not even do this step, but we're gonna go ahead and grease it up in there. That's fine, wipe the excess off. All right, so we're just gonna bring it over here. We'll put it on the crank, see it's a square taper. It's got the square, square taper bottom bracket here. So we'll just slip it on here. Okay, just wiggle it on. And when I put the when I put the bolt on here, it'll sort of wedge it up into the, the spindle, and that's what keeps it on. So now I'm going to install the bolt. Here's a bolt. It's an eight millimeter bolt, so I need an eight millimeter Allen key hex wrench. So let's go ahead and just screw it on. It's clockwise on both sides, so it's clockwise here to the right. So it's careful not to strip anything. Let's go nice and easy. Feels nice and easy. Okay, now when you're installing a crank, it's important that you don't install uh, or screw this, cr this bolt in too tight or too loose. So what is the proper torque? Again, link in the description below. Uh, Park Tool has some recommendations. They say uh, for uh, crank, uh, crank bolt, including spling type cranks and square spindle cranks, which is what we got, for Shimano or other brands, they got some values for other brands, they say basically between 300 and 400 inch pounds. So again, I'll go back to my torque wrench here. I'm uh, still using it. Uh, when you're done using a torque wrench, you should bring it back down to about zero so it stays calibrated right. But I said 300 to 400 inch pounds. So that's about uh, 40 Newton meters. So I'm gonna unlock this torque wrench. I'm gonna bring it back down to 40 Newton meters. I had it up higher because it I was installing the bottom bracket. The crank you don't have to install as tight. I'm just being extra. It's very important to use a torque wrench when you're dealing with uh, carbon fiber stuff. Okay, and then we lock this out. All right, so I have a bunch of different uh, sockets and uh, allen keys and stuff here so we want eight millimeter this is the eight millimeter right here see that all right so we're going to go ahead and stick it on my torque wrench real quick here press this button we're going to catch it here like that it's on there nice and good we're going to go this way to the right or uh, to the clockwise direction the bolt should still be on here it's again set for 40 newton meters so we'll just keep going until it uh until it um clicks on us hold the crank and don't don't have to go really fast and you should probably do this at like a at a 90 degree angle it's really the proper way of using a torque wrench. I'm just sort of going sort of quick here. Still going. Should be getting there soon though. Hmm, 40 Newton meters, we're still going. There it goes, you hear that click? Click, 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 that means I've gone all the way, so that's 40 Newton meters. 
All right, so I'm going to set this down very lightly. Be careful with that. It's still set on 40 newton meters. I should turn it back to zero, but yeah, let's, let's get this done. <laughs> Don't be rushed when you're doing something. Um, little, uh, little word of wisdom there. All right, so let's clean out the grease on this one. Now we're on the left. We're done with the right side. Now we're going to do the left side. Let's clean out this hole here. Let's put some grease in it. Now, it's important to note that when a manufacturer says to use so much torque uh, on a bolt, they'll, they may list to do that with a, uh, follow the directions closely is what I'm getting at. They may say to lightly lubricate uh, with grease or something, the threads when you're um, uh, doing the torque setting, <clears throat> or they may want you to install something dry so uh, if you actually grease something and then you go for like the 40 newton meter torque, you might over torque or over tighten uh, something when you're not really supposed to. Um, I'm gonna go back after this video and double check all that. I'm just showing this for uh, video purposes that you should be greasing threads though so you can take stuff off more easily. Okay, my other crank bolt right here, I left it out there. Now it's important, obviously, you don't wanna look like a goofball and have your crank like this. You wanna make sure it's 180 degrees, you know, the left side from the right side, and it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that bolt on here. Uh, let's do it slowly. And let's get the, uh, let's get a uh, eight millimeter hex wrench. There it is. Let's screw this on. Again, it's clockwise to the right, same way as the, uh, the other side. Okay, so we're gonna use our torque wrench now. Got it all set up, ready to go. Okay, we're gonna go clockwise again. Gonna take a while. Click, click, click. All right, so it's done. All right, now that we got our crank installed on the bicycle. Nice and smooth. I wanted to point out with the torque wrench, when you're done, you want to bring it back down to zero. It's important you do that. So I'm going to unlock it here and I'm going to bring this red indicator here back down to nearly zero. So let's go all the way back down just so we got it calibrated. We're back down to basically zero bottomed out there and I'm going to lock it back out. So that concludes how to install a square taper bottom bracket and crank. Uh, pretty good, pretty great detail here. Um, now that should hopefully fix my noise, my knocking noise problem I had with my Moto Beacon Fixie Cafe CF. Uh, link in the description below about my bicycle and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you out in the road. No noises, hopefully.